Day two at AWFS 2019. And I'm gonna take a look at the Tiger Stop with Elizabeth today. As you know, the Smart Wood Shop is all about portability and efficiency, doing the work on site. And this looks like it might be an interesting option to add to the uh, Smart Total Station. So we'll take a look at it. Hi, Got Elizabeth. It. <laughs> Hi, good to have you guys here at AWFS. Today we're gonna to show you Sawgear. It's a great tool. Um, it's all about portability, accuracy, and repeatability. So essentially anytime you use a tape measure, it's slow, you have to pull it out, you have to make your measure, you have to mark, you then have to cut your piece. So at Tiger Stop, we try to kind of replace that whole concept. So what we have here is saw gear. And essentially what you do is you type in your measurement in either fraction form or decimal form. So then you're never converting between the two. We all know how much of a pain that can be. Now it can go millimeter on this too? Exactly. So okay. we can work in metric, it can speak Spanish, English, French, Dutch, German. So this is a great tool for um, anyone all over the world really who wants to take their tool from the shop to the job site and they need accuracy. So and do you, do you have to order a certain language or you can just set, you get one and you set it up? You have one and you can set it up, you can change the language, you can change between metric and standard. Um, it's accurate to eight thousandths of an inch. So wow. that's a one one hundred twenty fifth of an inch. Okay. It's, it's very very accurate, and if you can use a cell phone, you can use a saw gear. Okay. You simply type in the measurement, either in decimal form, or you can also type in fraction form. That means you don't have to walk all the way down every single time to adjust either a manual fence or to pull out a tape. I can also type in a measurement in. Um, fraction form. So I could do 12 inches and uh, 64. In this position. So it's great if you can mount this in a shop on a workbench or we have these portable tables so you can throw them in your truck. This actually pops right out okay. and you can mount it um, on either side, left hand or right hand. So this uh, portable bench portion, do you have it for different, like it fits on the Festool, you Apex. On the Festool, you can put this on a DeWalt. You could actually put this on an iron worker, a drill, a press. Pretty, okay. Any, much, any tool really for... So the bench is universal then? Universal. And what, what about setup when you get to the job and you got all this? How long does it take to set up and calibrate it? So I set it at 10. It better be exactly at 10. Nine and three quarters. Okay. So I want to calibrate nine inches quarters, I press start, it's done. It didn't move or anything, it just, it's telling you now the dimension between the pusher foot and the blade is nine and three quarters. So essentially, you've just measured and put in your dimension I and now dimension. it's set. Okay. Right. So if you have digital calipers and you want to zero it in to the thousandth of an inch, you're going to get very, very accurate. That's the way. So if I, then if I move it out to 10 now, you can see it moved in here. It moved. It mounts on your bench. Is it possible if somebody has a different style of miters set up, can they put this on that? Absolutely. So if you build your own workbench, a lot of guys have beautiful shops, gorgeous benches, you can mount this aluminum bar onto that. We also have um, more robust kind of cold rolled steel tables manufactured by Tiger Stop, so you can mount it. So there. for a fixed base shop that, but portability, for portability, where I've got a knockdown bench, is this bolt on or can it clamp on? This um, simple mounting bracket right here. So you'd unscrew that there. Okay. And then you have another one right here. So this bracket you can screw right on. Okay. We supply these brackets. And yeah, it's very simple to mount. You throw this in your truck, take this out, pop it out with these guys right here, and throw that in your cab, and you're pretty much good to go. And is it in different sizes or is it one size? So we manufacture an 8 foot, a 12 foot, 16 foot, and a 20 foot. Right or left, you can pop this head out here and there's a pin that can mount actually right into here. About roughly what does it cost for a setup like this? Um, it starts at around $3,000. Okay. And then it can kind of go up from there. So, so what does 3000 get you? So you get the computer? That'll get you the controller, all the brains here. It'll give you this measuring bar. Okay. And then it'll give you this pusher foot. Okay. In reality, you can mount this 
on to And person. so that would be the kit that I would be interested in because this would fit on my existing bench. Exactly. And then and because I could clamp this off and on, I could store this neatly in my trailer in a nice spot, pull it out and put it on. Well, it looks like a good option and for accuracy and efficiency and being lean. Elizabeth, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Have appreciate a good day. It. Yeah, have a great show.